when did you buy this place? Based off the auction pictures you showed me, it's at least 300 years old. <laughs> I didn't buy it, someone was desperate to give it to me. Crimson, stop the car. <coughs> Daryl, why on earth did you want me to stop the car? So you're telling me we're currently on the way to some house that someone's desperately wanting to get rid of? And I thought of it as a property investment. You don't think this is suspicious whatsoever, do you? Well, I don't think it was kind of strange when the pet didn't want anything for it, but it's all part of the risk, you know? I'm only doing this because you're my friend. If it was literally anyone else, I would be on my way home right now. That's why I wanted you to come with me. And we're only a few minutes away. Can I stop the car now? Yeah, sure, I don't care. I just need to pick up something really quickly, okay? So, what are your plans for this house you've got? Well, first renovations. Like you said, it's pretty old. <coughs> hey, why did we stop? Calm down, like I said, it's just something I'm picking up beforehand. Okay, whatever. Daryl, move over. Ugh. Vanessa, thanks for coming. Oh, it's alright. When you told me about your new house, I definitely wanted to help you move in. Brandon? Who is this and why are they coming with us? Calm down, you don't need to be so aggressive. She's my friend. Oh, don't worry. I think you'll get on just fine. What is that supposed to mean? Just get over yourself. We're here. Have you seen any pictures, Vanessa? No, but I was sure it was lovely. So, Anissa, how long have you known Crimson? Maybe like two years? How about you? I guess a while as well. How many memories were shared right here in this building in front of us? All the amount of ghosts that live in here. Well, it's just a physical portrayal of the unknown. But I... let's just go in. Come on. Alright. Are you alright, Daryl? Yeah, I'm fine. Then why don't you just go in? Okay, I will. It's cold outside. Can you shut the door? I can't see anything. Oh, I'll try and find a light switch. There's no point in trying to find one. Why? Because the house is a lie. <sighs> the light's turned on. Oh my goodness, where did Crimson go? What's happening? I'm scared. Uh, Nissa, it's, um, uh, okay. What do we do, Daryl? I'll just, um, um... Uh, I'll just try and open this door, then we can just go out. What about Crimson? We don't want her to be stuck in here alone. How do we know if she's alone? And I'll just try and open this door. Ugh, no use. It won't open. What do you mean it won't open? I guess you're right. Do you not trust me or something? No, no, I just wanted to make sure- So you're saying I'm lying? That's not what I said. I'm going to find us a way out. I'm not leaving without Crimson. Let's find her first. Then we can leave. This place is kind of spooky. Don't you think Crimson's somewhat new? Of course not. She wouldn't lie to us like that. And besides, she said this was the first time she ever came and saw the house tonight. Look, Alyssa. People don't always tell the truth, and not for the greatest reasons either. It's something you just have to accept. Now, let's find Crimson and get out of here if that's really what you want. I'm sure she's telling the truth. 
and she might just be lost. I just want to get out of here and Crimson will know how I'm sure. Come on Anissa, I'm going to leave without you if you don't try and search for an exit with me. I don't want to be the reason you don't get out of here. Crimson is probably terrified like us right now by being by herself. If you insist. I think I know where we need to go. That is if you want to find Crimson with me. I don't know, but I think I saw something floating down the hallway. That led me to think one of the old owners must have made this into one of those scare houses you go with your friends. You're pathetic. I know I haven't known you for long, but since you've got back you seem really not like yourself. But let's go down that hallway, I guess. Wait, I see something. Where are you going? Just trust me, come on. Okay then. Are you still there? Yeah, just follow my voice. I found a door. Open it, Crimson could be in there. This place just gets spookier and spookier. again. Wait a minute, how, what? I, I'm so confused. Oh my goodness. Crimson! Finally Crimson, we've been looking for you. But you've just been sitting here? Are you alright? Come on, let's go. Ash? Who's Ash? I have no idea. Listen here, Anissa and Dara. Oh, I'm scared. Let's just get out of here. Come on, Crimson, just come with us. Why would I? Don't hurt Dara. Anissa, you don't have to be so scared. You're immortal. As long as you live in this house, you'll live forever. Sage, why don't you tell them the truth? I didn't want to believe it. Ash was getting lonely, so she let me get her some trusted friends to come stay here and be Ash's friends forever. But why? That's not the Crimson I know. That's not the Crimson I know. Well, I'm not Crimson here. I'm Sage. But you... you lied. Why do you think I became your friend? B because you cared? That's not what I meant. It's okay. She doesn't see you for the friend you are. I thought you didn't like me. If I'm being honest, it's because I was jealous of how you might replace me. It turns out... We were finding out she had other plans. I thought you said they would be arguing for eternity. So I was overlooking who was using me. You're a good person. You showed me that today, even in horrifying situations. If you would let me explain... I became friends with you not just to get Ash's company. I think you're good friends too, after I got to know you. Ash, if you're so lonely, why don't you just go outside and talk to someone? 
It's not as easy as you would think. It's breaking the house rules. What do you mean, house rules? You're free to make your own decisions. This house comes with a set of rules. It has a mind of its own. How can a house have a mind? It's absorbed the spirits that all lived here. I've been stuck here for thousands and hundreds and millions of years, and Sage is stuck with me through it. Um, thousands of years? You guys aren't thousands of years, that's not possible. Does that mean we're gonna be stuck here for as long as you? I wouldn't be so set on that. How many questions do I have to ask to get them answered? What does all of this mean? This house has a personality of its own. It wants to be good to this world. It's so scary though. It gives you a life lesson when you enter. Its lessons are so important. It gives to those who are brave enough not to judge this house from the outside. To truly look deeper in what it actually offers. That means we can go! We've already learned a lesson! Exactly. It served its purpose, then let's go! Well, yes, I believe you are free to go. I'll see you around, I guess. Are you not wanting to come with us? I might stay here a while, just to make sure Ash isn't alone. Okay, goodbye! Darren, no! I'm going to find a way for Ash to get out of here. No one's left alone. I knew you wouldn't stay. You can go. It's impossible. You may as well leave. Yeah, sometimes you just have to look out for yourself. Good luck. Well, let's figure out a plan. Are you alright? Yeah, I just want to help Ash. But by doing that, you're sacrificing your own freedom. If you stay here for over six hours, you're stuck here forever! That is why we brought you here in the first place. Then what are we doing? We should make a plan. When did you first enter this house? It's been so long I don't quite remember. You bought this house from someone. In those days, you were a lot like Anissa. Seeing the good in everything. Ah oh, yes, now I remember. Then I got trapped here. I, I felt like the answer to my problems was people, but I really needed to learn to rely on myself more. How do you know that? Something doesn't add up here. What do you mean? <laughs> How? Come. You threatened my own safety of leaving if I wanted to help Ash. If you could leave the whole time? You've been going in and out, hanging out with us outside of this house, and then you tell us we have to escape now or else we'll be stuck here forever, but here you are just free. Free! Um, I don't want to talk about it. Things aren't always as they seem. I built this house. Oh my goodness, why? It sounds crazy, but please just hear me out. I was a different person. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought it would help people by learning their lessons. But when the first person got stuck here, I then realized what I was actually doing. I had to free Ash. And then after a while, we became really good friends. Similarly with you. And I started not to want you guys to leave. And then I started making up things and figuring out that when this is all over, Ash will be gone back to her time when she first came. Why didn't you tell me all this? It was thousands of years ago. I thought you and Darrow wouldn't help me if you thought my name was really Sage. And you would assume I was this insane cat who- Of course I wouldn't! I'm listening to you right now, aren't I? The reason you've been stuck here, Ash, is all because of me making up things. I won't do it anymore. Take the car and leave. I don't want you to be a part of this anymore. I want to undo all of this. I'm going to destroy this house once and for all so Ash can be free. But it will destroy me too. No, Crimson! We've become such good friends. You've taught me so much. I'll be with you in spirit. Goodbye.
I had a feeling you might wait. I wasn't sure though. You're a bit unpredictable. Let's get out of here.